Welcome. We are in Mount Airy, North Carolina, better known to me as Mayberry. Now, as an Andy Griffith fan, we had to come here. It's a beautiful time of year, and Greta, I want you to tell us a little bit about your job here, because you get to be here every single day. Yes, ma'am, and it is so much fun. And you see fans yes, from forever. Mm -hmm. Now, and tell me a little bit about the 50th anniversary. Okay, on October the 3rd of 2010, the show has been was on the air for 50 years nonstop. Never been years. off the air. Wow. And this October the 3rd, it was 51 years this year. And it's still all over. Even uh, I have people from England that comes mm -hmm. in, and they love it. They love it. Do you know what I, I think it is so successful because people looking, they're looking for good entertainment that's wholesome, their family can watch together, and they can look back to a, an easier time in life. Don't you think that's yes, right? Yes, ma'am, I do. And everybody that comes in, when they come in the door, they open the door to the museum once uh -huh. they get in from the lobby. They have a big smile, and oh, they yeah. leave with that big smile yeah. because it's a much simpler time, uh -huh. and, and Andy always. It's just like parables from the Bible. He always had a good solution, never raised uh -huh, his voice. Uh -huh. The only thing he, you know, said was, you know, what's this, we'll talk about it, you know. Uh -huh, and, uh -huh. um, great programming, but the following now, and, and you just mentioned people from England come here. Uh -huh. Can you imagine that? We were out there looking at some of the old photographs, and it brought back so many memories. Now, I loved Andy Griffith as Matlock, loved Matlock. A lot of people didn't relate to that era of his being, but he's been around now in, in film and in television for how long? How many years has Andy actually performed? Do you know? He started about 1957. His wow. first movie that he made was A Face in the Crowd, mm -hmm. but he had been on Broadway with No Time for Sergeants before then. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the show started on October the 3rd in 1960 uh -huh. and ran for eight years. There was 249 episodes all together, wow. not including the pilot episode. And it came out in February of 1960 with Danny Thomas. Whenever Danny came uh, through Mayberry and got stopped for speeding. Oh, that's so funny. Now, one of the things here, we can't take photography out in the museum, but we have to tell people to come here. My favorite part of this museum is a rocking chair that Andy was rocked in when he was a baby. Do you know a little bit of the history yes, of that chair? Yes, ma'am. His, Andy's parent, An Andy was the only child. His mm -hmm. father was Carl Griffith. And he worked in the furniture factory here. Uh -huh. And he made a rocking chair for Andy's mom, Geneva, to rock little baby Andy in. And oh, I'm wow. like you, it touches I my love heart. I that chair. I love it. Now, there's a lot of photography, a lot of memorabilia. Um, the suit that he wore is Matlock. The, <clears throat> the sheriff's set up, and it seems smaller. You know, in scale, it seems well, a little now, bit Well, now, did you see the his um, shirt that he wore yes. when he was sheriff? Yes. That is one of his original shirts. Wow. And he donated that to Mr. Emmett Forrest, who owns all the collection. Mm -hmm. Emmett and Andy grew up together half a mile down the street here, uh -huh. and they have been friends since they were just small boys. Oh, wow. And, and Mr. Forrest started about 30 years ago collecting everything in here, and mm -hmm. this is his private collection. <clears throat> now, why is it important for him to share this with the public? Because I think a lot of people can relate to Andy. Mm -hmm. He was just came from a small rural town at that time, mm -hmm. and he went to Hollywood and and make, did all the things that most people dream of doing. Right. You know the thing that blows my mind. We went into um, Wally's filling station, and we went into the jail per se, the jail. And then I realized none of this is real. It was all filmed in Hollywood. Yes, ma'am, at 40 acres. Now, why was it not filmed here in Mount Airy, which is so perfect? Why didn't they do any filming Because here? during the time, you've got to remember, this was in 1960. Right. Yes, and all of the uh, shows at that era were filmed in Hollywood mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because there was On no sets. local, yes, mm -hmm, no mm -hmm. local television, you know. Right, and today Georgia is a huge part of the film industry, and you may go into many, many small towns in Georgia and see that the streets are closed down because they are, they're coming back to our communities and back to our neighborhoods. Now, do you see people doing a film in Mount Airy because it is a beautiful town? Well, it would be a wonderful thing for it tourists, I can say that, but it, it is a beautiful town. It is. Now, tell me a little bit about you. How long have you been here? I've been here about two years. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, and did you come here just to apply for a job, or did you come because well, you had a love for this stuff? Well, let me tell you. I, wor I was working at a bank, mm -hmm. and there was an ad in the local newspaper, 
and they wanted volunteers. Uh -huh. And so I called, and the people I worked with said, oh, Greta, they're not going to let you volunteer there because I don't live here in Mount Erie. I okay. live in a smaller town than Mount Erie called Elkin, North Carolina. Okay. And so I came over and talked to them, and I started volunteering. And then the bank I was working for was bought out by a larger bank, and we all lost our jobs. Oh, wow. And this worked into a full-time job. Isn't that something? But so I just had a great love. I grew up watching... Andy every afternoon when mm -hmm. I was small. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to interview Thelma Lou and I saw a picture of her out there. Absolutely gorgeous. She is gorgeous. She is. Now she still loves to do interviews and she loves to meet and greet and she mm -hmm. continues to do that at what age? She's 85. Are you kidding me? She I hope turned, I can find the door at 85. Me too. So, she turned yeah. 85 in August wow. and we had her a little surprise birthday party. Uh -huh. She comes in the third Friday of every Friday, uh -huh. and she is so, she's just so sweet. The uh -huh. way you think Thelma Lou would be, right. you know, it, right. it's, it's really, you know, you just think that she would just be warm and bubbly, and she uh -huh. is uh -huh. that way. Do you think when she tried out for this part, she really would rather have been Andy's girlfriend? I want to ask her that. because I really don't know. I wonder about that. But you that. know, uh, Miss Lynn had quite a movie career. I don't right. know if we you know that before. We were looking at some of that. Yeah. She acted with Betty Davis, Loretta Young, Robert Montgomery, I mean, Fred McMurray. If, and she was in June Bride, uh -huh. and just so cheaper by the dozen. She was very famous before yeah. she started on the show. I saw that. It, it is incredible to me. Now, can you tell folks general directions? We're going to give them some pretty good directions to get to Mount Airy. But tell us a little bit about the museum. And, and also, there's an Andy Griffith Playhouse next door. Can we yes, talk a little bit about mm -hmm. that? When are there plays there? We have its local okay. uh, theater local is theater. what it is. And okay. we have performances there about a couple weeks ago. We had a stand-up comedian was over there. This weekend, uh, tomorrow afternoon, we're having a local um, chorus that's going to sing over there, uh -huh. and they do a beautiful job. We have all kinds of activities that goes on in the playhouse. Awesome. Sometimes we even have bands over there. Now, what are the hours of the museum? We are open every day from Monday through Saturday okay. from 9 to 5, and on Sunday afternoons from about 1.15 to 5. Okay. All right. Well, we want to encourage you. Get to know, if you watch Andy Griffith and you love it, we know a lot of our viewers do. We talk to you about it, and everybody says, why don't you have more good, wholesome television? Andy Griffith was good, wholesome television, and this is a great way to step back into the 60s. You can come and have an RC, come and have a moon pie, take a ride in the squad car. It is a great visit, and we tell you, take a daycation. Now, this one might be a two daycation for you because it took us about six hours to get up here, but it is a beautiful, beautiful drive, and we want to encourage you to come and visit Mount Airy, North Carolina.